assassins move into melee range. Reaper, what would you like to do? Oh, we're wardening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. Okay. As you dash, assassin, uh, fire flame hounds emerge from the ground and lunge and attack assassin, pinning him to the ground with fiery tongues and ravenous teeth. I laugh and I snap my fingers. Alright, you, you blow up. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> One more last thing. Uh, you know what I, that cue is for. I don't know what the snapping's for. Uh, Not at the top of my head, because I'm <clears> something. Snapping, whistling. Oh, okay. Um, Alright. So as the hellhounds are on top of the assassin, uh, he whistles, and you see five bandits come in, all ready to crossbows, and they all go to fire at Reaper. Set up from the beginning. <laughs> okay, let's see if uh, assassin can get out of this too. Let's hope. <clears throat> so. Here's my question. How far away are these bandits? Alright, so Assassin gets the, the Hellhounds off of them. Uh, the bandits are at three range. Did you pull up your laptop to do the statistics? No, I'm <laughs> checking something. <laughs> I was about to laugh. No. No, I was wondering... Um, so, my question is, if the hounds are on Assassin, would I be able to use Fiend to just take out these underlings? Just, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it gives me that extra. You have to, uh, you have to move, that counts plus... That counts as two range, so you have to move up a little bit, but then you could. Hmm. All right, so all the, the bandits that come in, they all start firing their crossbows, uh, and Reaper, uh, using some of uh, his illusionary magic, is able to avoid all the crossbow bolts. Each of you, fire at one separate one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's still pinned right now, isn't he? Like, no, he, no. he just got up. Oh, he was able to get the hounds off? Yeah, he was. Points in his dagger, buddy. Alright, but... Where's my hounds at? Are they just they still around? They, they disappear after they, they get thrown off. You could summon them again, though. <laughs> but uh, you, you, you throw the hounds off of you, mm -hmm. uh, and then they crawl back under underground into the fire. Like oh, boy. The fire pit and disappear. Now, if only I had a world event action where there's priests in the background, they're like, demons, and they start throwing all the water into me. Well, you have two, you have two reduced health, so. Why? World event? <laughs> Don't bother me. <laughs> the world event has nothing to do with me. <laughs> okay, so it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn? So, if I if I take a step forward, can I do my thing? Mm -hmm. And let's just do a massive whirl around and hit everything. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do that then. Okay. So Reaper stands forward, and with his bone whip, he ignites it in fire, swings it around, disintegrating all of the bandits that came in to help you, and then he goes to whip you with it. <laughs> They're all, <laughs> uh, I want to dodge by running to the nearest wall and bouncing off it and going for an airstrike. You're so complicated. I'm an assassin. Are you? <laughs> okay. So even though the flaming whip killed all the bandits, um, it manages to graze you, but thanks to your tactical 
aerial dodges, you only take one point of damage. Okay, it's your turn. So, did my initiative also go in for the attack after? Or was it not within range? Uh, if you move up by one, you'll be within melee, <laughs> I believe. Let me see. He hasn't moved at all, though. Well, I, I hit the wall and dashed off. Would that put me within range, or I'm still one way? I would think you'd be trying to get away from the whip. <laughs> Dashing off, I'm not seeing you bounce towards me. But I don't know. Mm. Let's see. Yeah. You, if you moved up by one, you'd be able to be within range. Damn, that sucks. Um, let me see here what I got, what I can do. I don't have too much I can do. Oh, oh, that's why I was thinking that. What? Oh, nothing to worry about. Hey, come on, what do you do? <sighs> I'm going to go in for a, sl uh, for a more, I'm going to go, we're going to start dashing in him and go for a slide underneath him while, uh, while sliding. Uh, taking my uh, sword out and, uh, and da hitting his ankles. You know the type of sword you have is not going to be helpful. No, but it's still going to apply poison and it's still going to dodge. I'm probably going to get kicked in the back of the head by uh, horse toads. Well, that, that's on your dagger. What? Poison's on your dagger. I know. But you said your sword. I meant to say that. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. you got to understand, I still, a blade is a blade to me. All right. Is that a rapier? Honestly, that's better than a rapier. Takes four points of damage from the uh, the blade, and is now experiencing some sort of poisonous effect that has him <laughs> immobilized. So, uh, assassin, you get another turn. I'm going to go for the back of his neck and try to, uh, and try to uh, sear my dagger into the back of his neck. Okay. <laughs> Though you have no head, you still have your neck. Shouldn't be. So, the Headless Horseman, this mm -hmm. is not there. None of that is oh, there. Oh, that's the case. Ah, it's too late. You already said. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go for it right underneath the neck. Right here. No, you already said. <laughs> That's what, it's right, you what you wouldn't have known unless I said something. <laughs> I know he has no neck. I was just like, I would have thought he had no head. I was like, he at least would have a neck. I've never seen the Headless Horseman. There's like uh, when you said nothing neck, here. I pictured right here. Yeah, that's, like, what, that's exactly what I meant. That's what I thought. He, he knew he knew it was the headless horse, so he knew that he didn't have a head. Semantics of wording. It's important, especially since this is a text <laughs> thing. He that wanted me to hit the air. He wanted me to hit the air. That been very but, Because he knew it was the headless horseman, I'm gonna give it. To, if he didn't know it was the headless horseman, I'm totally giving it to you. But since he knew it was the headless horseman, I'm giving it to him. Because it's in the name, Headless Horse. He knows that he doesn't have a head. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows, like, how much of the Headless Horseman is revealed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right, so with that, Assassin deals the fatal blow <laughs> to the back of Reaper. Really? Yeah, yeah that's the fatal blow. Because he was immobilized from the poison, couldn't move, and was stiff, and got stabbed. Whatever. And fell 